Hello, I'm Nancy Zeman of TV Sewing with Nancy. I'd like to introduce you to our second collection in the two-in-one embroidery line. This new embroidery product is designed around my McCall's jacket pattern with pattern-specific stitch outlines and embroidery designs combined. I know you'll be impressed with the terrific designs and this foolproof embroidery approach. One of the favorite projects that I like to sew is a jacket and then to make it even more special to have it embroidered. With the two-in-one embroideries for jackets, I have everything I need. I have the pattern for McCall's. It sizes 8 through 16 and the second pattern sizes 18W to 24. There's a CD with 18 embroideries, the combined two-in-one embroideries, and then a two-in-one embroidery for jackets instruction book with the step-by-step -step instructions and the thread sequencing that you'll need for all 18 embroideries. This is a great package, almost everything you need for your creative process. Let me show you a close-up of the three themes that we have for the embroidery jackets. The first one, the ginkgo leaves. This happens to be my favorite. This design with chartreuse to olive leaves are embroidered in on the collars, on the pockets, and also on the cuffs. The back is not eliminated because we have accented the back with an insert, a back embroidered insert, and across the yoke. The corresponding stitch outlines, we have a few of them right here on the board. You can see in the pocket flap we have stitch outlines for the two sizes, whether you choose the size 8 through 16 or the size 18 through 24, you have stitch outlines that coincide. Then that little ginkgo leaf goes right in the correct spot. The pocket, patch pocket again, the placement is just where you'd like it to be. Here's that beautiful embroidery that goes in the area for the back insert. At the top we have the collar section. So you see there's no guesswork when you're working with two-in-one embroideries. Our second embroidery collection is Sassy Scrolls. We have chosen to embroider on black with light and airy scrolls, very tasteful as well as contemporary on the front of the jacket and then of course we added equal embroidery on the back for some interesting focal points. The two-in-one embroideries for, the, for this design are very comparable. You can see the stitch outlines and the embroidery so that again the, the guesswork is taken out of this process. And then our final option, floral bouquet. We've chosen a khaki jacket fabric, a gabardine, and place the embroidery in the collar and the yoke, the front. The back, look at where the embroidery is, showcasing that back area. It's a beautiful embroidery. We have large embroideries for this particular design. You can see they're very encompassing, well laid out. I love the composition of these designs. We even gave you little hints to make sure you get the embroidery on the right jacket front. This is our front, so you know that this embroidery goes on the right front. You can see why we call this foolproof placement. Now if you're wondering what type of formats you'll need to do the embroidery for your sewing machines, here they are. You have five of them, BFL, PES, DST, JEF, or EXP. Plus you will need a medium to transfer designs, and I have transferred from the CD all of my designs onto this flash drive and placed them in my machine. And then I'm going to transfer them so that they appear. You could also transfer them to a PC computer if you would like. And then I'm going to do the embroidery just on the yoke using the floral bouquet embroidery design. I'm going to place it on the front yoke and you can see that the design appears on the LCD screen. The stitch outlines and the embroidery in one unit. That's the great part of this. After you've selected your design and you cut out your pattern piece, hoop a stabilizer in the corresponding hoop size. Here you can see I've used a self-adhesive stabilizer and I'm stitching the first design, stitching it in black. This is the stitch outline. After doing the stitch outline, because this was a self-adhesive stabilizer, I'm going to remove the paper covering. I used a pin, scored the paper so I could easily take off and expose the sticky portion. As you can see, I removed the hoop from the embroidery unit, but not the stabilizer from the hoop. 
Because this is a stitch outline, we're going to match the fabric to this outline stitch. This is probably the most important part. You want to get everything lined up just right because that will ensure of having the embroidery right where you'd like it. I'm going to take a little time and make sure it gets aligned in the back. Then after you have positioned it, you're going to place your hoop back into your embroidery unit. Now I've selected my fabric, excuse me, my thread colors in the sequencing and I place them to the right of my machine in the order that I am going to be stitching. So I have all the thread colors aligned and I use the charts in the back of the book to make sure that I have the thread colors in the right sequence. So the fabric has been attached to the stabilizer. I've stitched the first stitch outline and after doing the sewing, the second step will be to stitch the embroidery. Since off camera I stitched that first line, I'm going to advance it to the second color and the second color happens to be the salmon color. I have the salmon color in my machine, the salmon color of thread. I'll lower the presser foot and start. Now it's just like a traditional embroidery. You'll go through all the color changes and the steps for the embroidery. This particular design has, oh, let's say about eight different color changes. So to create that beautiful floral bouquet design, I'd be changing my threads a few more times. After all the thread changes and the embroidery is complete, it's time to look at the finished embroidery. And here this embroidery is positioned and you can see that the original fabric was aligned to the outline and there that embroidery is just where I would like it. Embroidery all the other pattern pieces, fabric pieces that you need for your jacket, then follow the McCall's pattern. I wrote the instructions so there are special hints for assembly and anything else that you would like to make your sewing experience more streamlined. The two-in-one embroideries for jackets, it's a great way to embroider and sew. Enjoy. I certainly hope you've enjoyed seeing how effortless it is to embroider a stunning jacket with two-in-one embroideries. The combined stitch outlines and the embroidery designs guarantee beautiful results. Two-in-one embroideries for jackets, available through sewing, quilting, and embroidery stores nationwide.